So, uh, in this video, I am going to do application of the Cardano formula. That means we are going to use our Cardano formula. But before starting this, I will request all of you to watch part 1 and part 2. Okay, so we will start. We have a cubic equation. And what we have done, we are going to first start with a recap of what we have done in the part 1 and the part 2 video. We have a cubic equation. We make some substitution as y minus b by 3 over x is equal to y minus b by 3 in our equation number 1. And we got some depressed cubic equation. I have written in terms of a and b. Okay. After solving this equation a and b, we got a root of this equation as this. That is my y is equal to cube root of b by 2 plus square root of b square by 4 plus a cube by 27 minus cube root of b by 2 minus over here it is plus over here it is minus that's true. Uh, after that equation whichever uh, real root we got for this equation number 2 we substituted that value in the substitution which we have made it that is y minus b by 3 or whatever number you got over here you substitute in this equation that is y minus b by 3 and we got a real root for our cubic equation that is what the Cardano formula was right it was a quick recap of whatever we have done so we will do one simple example I will literally say it is a simple example because uh, this cube term uh, cube root and everything will get cancelled in this you can try with another example but I will request all of you to use calculator as such because to finding cube root I haven't found any such way way in which we can find this cube root easily without using calculator or with a log table also if any one of you know please uh, write it in the comments ok we'll start my example which I have took, uh, taken is x cube minus 24 x square plus 165 x minus 242 is equal to 0 this is a really simple example for applying our Cardano's formula First step was to substitute y is equal, x is equal to y minus b by 3. In this equation, my b is minus 24 and a is 1. So if I substitute x is equal to y minus b by 3, we got y minus minus of 24 divided by 3 into 1. So after cancellation, we got x is equal to y plus 8. This is our substitution. This I will substitute x is equal to y plus 8 in equation number 1 and I will go to get this equation. On the place of x, I have written y plus 8. If we expand this, this cube term, the square term and this bracket if you open, we get this y cube plus 3 y square 8 plus 3 y 8 square plus 8 cube minus 24 into square term that is y square plus 8, in, uh, 8 into 2 that is 16 y plus 64 and the last term I haven't opened the bracket over there that is 160 y into y plus 8 and the last term is constant minus 242 which is equals to 0 this entire equation is equal to 0 now we are going to try to simplify it that is y cube this will become 24 y square the third term is 8 square that is 64 into 3 is 192 then 8 cube is 512 after that we open this bracket so it's become minus 24 y square minus 384y minus 1536 after we multiply minus 24 with 64 we got minus 1536 uh, opening this bracket we got 165y plus 1320 minus 242 which was our last constant equate to 0 our aim of this substitution is to get square term cancel out right and we observe that that is true this is a square term and this is square. There is no other square term we found that two are getting cancelled. After simplifying one y cube term, then we have y. Y square term is getting cancelled. So other next term is y. One, two, three. Three y term that is 192 plus minus 384 plus 165. We got as a minus 27y. And the constant term which left are this four constant term if we simplify it if we uh, add 1 5 and 2 minus 1536 plus 1320 minus 242 then we got as plus I think we got it as plus 54 and we can write it like this it is plus 54 is equals to 0 then if we take if we take this plus 54 on that side we got y cube minus 27 y 
This is equals to minus 54. Which I have taken as equation number. So first step, first step has got clear that we got a depressed cubic equation, right? Now after that, over here we have found the real root, which is some cube term. How we got that? We have compared our equation with s plus t cube minus 3st into s plus t, which is equals to s cube plus t cube. Where my, if I have comparing this, that means my s plus t is a root of this equation number 2, which is this thing. If we compare, we found minus 3st is equals to minus 3 minus 3st is equals to minus 27 and s cube plus t cube which is equals to minus 15 okay after this we got uh, after comparing that equation we got this and this from this equation we will find the value of t over here it is minus 3 that will get minus minus will get cancelled 3 will go that side that becomes 9 and s we have taken on that side this t is equals to 9 by s we have substituted in this equation on the place of t, I have kept the value of t, that is 9 by s, so I will get 9 cube by s cube. After that, if we simplify this equation, that is, if we take LCM, it will become s raised to 6, and this s will go on that side, and we have taken this minus 54 s cube on this side, so final, we will get this. Okay, now this we have, we know, we have seen in part 2, I think, that we can solve this as s cube raised to 2 plus 54 s cube plus 729. This is nothing but a quadratic equation which we can't solve simply by minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac divided by 2. My value of b is 54, my a is 1, c is uh, 729. If we substitute that minus 54 square is 1, 2, 1, 2, 9, 1, 6. And if you multiply this, we got again the same thing that is 2, 9, 1, 6. So that root term we get cancel out that will become 0 so my s cube value will going to be only minus 54 by 2 that is equals to minus 27 that is if my s cube value is minus 27 that means my s value is minus 3 i have selected such an example such that my this term get cancelled then only that simplification is not same that means uh, my this term my this term is getting 0 in this case that's why the calculation is looking so simple Else we have to do that cube under, we have square term, so it is really difficult. So my s cube value is minus 27, that means my s is equal to minus 3. If we substituted this value in this equation, that is minus 3st, which is equal to minus 27, we got this, minus 3 into minus 3 into t is equal to minus 27, 3 into 3, 9, then 9 will go that side, that one we got, t is equal to minus 3. So we got the value of s and value of t. Right? So we know my s plus t is the root of the equation number 2. So my root of equation number 2, my y is equal to s plus t minus 3. s value is minus 3, t value is minus 3. So which is equal to minus 6. So I got the root of the depressed cubic equation. Our aim was to find the root of the equation number 1. That is our given equation. That root will going to be, uh, if we substitute value of y in this equation, that what I have done. I have substituted y is equal to minus 6, which we got as the root of this. And the simplification we can check from this. If I substitute y is equal to minus 6, we got x is equal to minus 2, which I have written over there. So x is equal to minus 2 is the root of equation number 1, in which we are interested. We have used Cardano's formula. And you can check this. If we substitute uh, x is equal to 2 in this equation, we are going to get 0. So we have found a one real root, and other two can be found easily. If we have to make uh, this cubic equation as a product of x minus 2 into some quadratic equation and that quadratic equation root can be found simple. So thank you so much for watching this video.